Welcome to another edition of the Wildcat Profile. My name is Paul Roper, joined by senior quarterback Luke Dirk, who hails from the San Diego area. And he had a terrific game this past weekend against the Catawba Indians in the inaugural game on Field 76. And we'll talk about that, Luke. You had the opportunity to start in the first game for Davidson on that brand new field. How did it feel to take the reins and lead this team out to victory in what was a memorable atmosphere for Davidson fans? Yeah, thanks, Paul. It was definitely an awesome experience, I think. Just the energy in the stadium, and it really came full circle for me after last year. Just getting back out there, leading the guys. Um, number one goal was just to get the win. So I thought it was a great Saturday night. We played well. Everyone executed from top to bottom, so it was an awesome night. Your coaches always talk about how you have such a great attitude in the locker room, always positive, always ready to make the play. And I think a lot of that comes from your father, Todd, who has been a personal trainer, has helped train quarterbacks and other athletes. How much of an influence has your father, who was a backup quarterback in, at William & Mary, had on you? Yeah, no, he's a great mentor for me. Um, we've, had, we've had a lot of conversations over the years when things are going really well in football and things are not going really well, dating back to high school when he used to coach me. So, I mean, we've talked a lot. He's always helped me, guided me through decisions. But, yeah, it was great having him out here watching the game this Saturday. And he has had the opportunity for many years to train with Drew Brees, who is a Hall of Fame quarterback for the New Orleans Saints after he had started his career in San Diego. And you've had the opportunity to train with Drew as well. Tell me what that was like. Yeah, so growing up when Drew would be training in the offseason, I would just be snapping on the balls, just trying to learn from him. Um, he'd bring all his receivers out Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, every every week in the summer. So I'd bring my high school guys out. We kind of just try to watch and learn, soak it in as much as we can. But I've definitely tried to model my leadership style, just the focus and the competitive nature that he has. I've tried to model it in my game. And he's definitely been my biggest role model in the football world since the time I was young. Now go back to when you were recruited by Davidson. You had an opportunity with offers from across the country, but you chose Davidson. What made you want to come here from San Diego? Yeah, I, first and foremost, I wanted to get out of California, San Diego area. I wanted to go explore, have an experience. Um, so I was looking at Davidson, William Mary, academic schools around the country. And when I visited Davidson, it was during COVID. Um, so I came out to William Mary, Davidson visited, and I just love the atmosphere here. Love Coach Abel. Um, we couldn't really officially meet because it was during COVID, but mm -hmm. – him and Coach Porter were great recruiters, so I talked to them a lot and made the decision to come here, and I don't regret it one bit. I'm glad you mentioned Coach Abel because he's been very complimentary of the job you've done the last few years. How does it feel to have him as a mentor in the quarterback room? Yeah, no, it's been awesome. Me and Coach Abel, we have a great relationship. So from the time I got here, just the wisdom that he's put on, especially with the triple option, we haven't recruited many triple option guys. So mm -hmm. him kind of explained how our system works and learning in the system for the last four years, I think it's definitely helped. And I've just progressed over the years through all the highs, all the adversity that I've experienced. Like we've just kept, kept growing and kept getting better. Well, we have something in common. We're both communications majors. Let's go. And uh, you said you were an Army ROTC. What do you hope yes. to do with that? So, yeah, when I committed to play football here, I also committed to Army ROTC. Um, and I've grown to love that just as much as I do football. So I want to go Army Jag, Army Jag attorney. So I want to go to law school right after college. And then um, from there, going to the Jag route. But I was out in Fort Knox this summer doing all the ROTC training and really enjoyed that experience. Learned a lot about leadership as well. Boy, if you're protecting the gold, I think we're going to have a very good person to make sure to do that at Fort Knox through the years. But anyway, let's go to the two-minute drill. You've run quite a few of those in your career and been very successful with it. Rapid fire, some of your favorite things. We'll start with favorite food. Favorite food, my steak. Steak, okay. Yeah, How do you like your steak? Medium rare. Medium rare. What kind of steak? Ribeye. Ribeye, all good choices. Favorite movie? Favorite movie, Um, A Few Good Men. A Few Good Men, there you go, right in the Army oh, the yeah. military theme. Okay, uh, favorite class at Davidson? Favorite class at Davidson. Shoot, probably... um. I've had a interpersonal communication. It was pretty interesting to learn how to interact with people in an interpersonal way. I thought that was a cool class. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite memory so far at Davidson? I think beating sets in double overtime my sophomore year. Definitely my favorite memory. There you go. Very good memory. And do you have a favorite quote? Favorite quote. Ooh. I'd say I, I got one that's coming to me right now is do or do not. There is no try. I think it's Yoda in Star Wars, but that's just coming to me right now off the top of my head. I personally like you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. That's a great one, too. There you go. The Office is a terrific show. And, Luke, you've been a terrific guest on the Wildcat Profile. Keep up the great work with Davidson. Thanks for having me. I'm excited. We're excited, too. And Luke Durkin, one of the many great members of this Davidson football program, and you'll continue to learn more about them on next week's edition of Wildcat Profile.